Eric Weglars. Oh, a little closer to home. That's the view of Burlington right now at UVM Medical Center. It wasn't a bad start to the day, but things are certainly changing. Yeah. Here in the Weather Center with uh, First Alert Meteorologist Eric Weglars. I think, I mean, all weekend flooding is just going to be the biggest story, isn't it? Yeah, for a lot of folks, too. But, I mean, this afternoon's not so bad. I mean, we're in the 70s. So I think we'll we'll take the, the warmth, and then we'll That's get nice. to the flooding. Finally. But, I know, right? It's, we're getting close to summer. Yeah. Very close. We're almost there. Um, but, yeah, so the, the big note here over the coming, well, couple of hours here is going to be the threat for flooding, believe it or not, for a number of us here, not just along Lake Champlain as we start next week, but a lot of the area rivers here. But check out the warmth. We're in the upper 60s and lower 70s this afternoon, 72 in Burlington, 66 in Saranac Lake. But there's the cold front up in Messina, and that's going to be the focal point for a round of very heavy rain, especially across northern Vermont and northern New York. This evening to that end, the National Weather Service continues the flood watch for these areas shaded in dark green here. That's our entire region under this watch, and that's where the concern for this heavy rain and the flooding that will follow suit with that as we go through Saturday. So heavy rain and storms are expected starting tonight, those last through Saturday. And with the heavy rain and the snow melt, we are expecting a number of river and flash flood concerns. There's some improvement though by Sunday. So really we start to get better as we go through Saturday night and by Sunday we should be in much better shape in terms of the rain falling from the sky. A few breaks in the clouds here on Storm Tracker, but the rain is fast approaching from the west and we will see some thunderstorms moving through later on this afternoon. But I want to draw your attention to what's happening to our south. That severe weather that David just mentioned, all of the moisture associated with that is getting ready to vault its way towards the north. So we are expecting more in the way of heavy rain as we go through tonight. Notice in future cast by this evening, we're expecting a round of heavy rain and even some thunderstorms in the Champlain Valleys from Plattsburgh to Burlington, Charlotte. For example, seeing some of this thunder potential. And then as the night goes on, we really see this begin to spread over and fill in, actually. So periods of heavy rain from Rutland West into Essex County in New York. It's rain for most of us, and it's heavy at times and still heavy by Saturday morning. This is 6 a.m., still seeing heavy rain in the Northeast Kingdom, rain in the Champlain Valley. And the expectation is by Saturday afternoon, there's a bit of a break in the Seaway Valley, but the axis of this heaviest rain is actually shifted east, and we're expecting more in the way of thunderstorms, too. So it's going to be one of those cases where we see periods of moderate to heavy rain on and off for most of the day on Saturday, especially in eastern Vermont before the rain gradually comes to a close by Saturday night. So in terms of the rainfall forecast, this is a bit of a conservative number for uh, most of us here in Vermont. We're thinking well over a half an inch, over an inch, in fact, in the Northeast Kingdom. This is that gradient. Now, any shift south and east in this axis of heaviest rain means more rain in the Champlain Valley. And I think a number of these thunderstorms will actually push rainfall totals well over an inch and a half, close to two inches across central and northern Vermont. So we're expecting heavy rain and river flooding to be the highest impacts going forward here. I really want to draw your attention to these rivers on this list here. We have the potential for significant river flooding, especially along the Pesumsic, the Osable, and the Pemijawasset in Plymouth. In fact, we'll break down some of the river timelines here. This is the forecast expected by Saturday evening to early Sunday morning, moderate flood stage, and I wouldn't be surprised if we come very close to major flood stage on the Pesumsic just to the south of St. Johnsbury. Same deal on the Pemijawasset as you go into Plymouth. Water is expected to reach the doors of several facilities at Plymouth State University as we go through the day on Saturday into early Sunday morning. So highs tomorrow, the middle and upper 60s across the Adirondacks. Rain and thunder expected. We have the alert icon on for the river flood potential and the heavy rain. Same deal across most of northern Vermont for that matter as well. 70 in St. Johnsbury, the 60s in the Champlain Valley. We're in the middle and upper 60s and lower 70s across southern Vermont as well. So five-day forecast. We hold on to the 60s, believe it or not, all the way through Sunday and Monday. The showers will come to a close Easter Sunday. Same deal. A few more rain showers actually linger on Monday and Tuesday. And then by Wednesday, it looks really nice. Temperatures in the upper 50s, a lot of sunshine. That continues on Thursday before we cloud up more for the end of the week. A few more showers possible Friday and Saturday.